cheese, author. Good evening and welcome back to Oklahoma's favorite academic game show, I Want Answers. I'm your host, Jeff Gaffin. We started off with 16 high school teams throughout Green Country, and now we're down to the final four. That's right, this means where the semifinals have officially begun. The first two teams to face off will be the Claremore Zebras and the Tulsa Booker T. Washington Hornets. Whichever team wins today will be playing in the final championship and be competing for the top scholarship prize. That's right, in case you forgot, students are competing for scholarships and prizes. So teams, get ready as we test your knowledge and see who has the answers here on I Want Answers. But first, let's remind the audience just who they should be cheering for. We'll start off with the Claremore Zebras. Hi, I'm Andrew Nolan, I'm a junior. I'm Zane King, I'm a junior. I'm Ty Webster, I'm a junior. I'm Truman Burgeon, I'm a junior. What does the fox say? Ding, 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 ding. And their competitors, the Booker T. Washington Hornets. Aaron Hockett, senior. Noel Yannick, senior. Jack Sarton, senior. Muhammad Ali, sophomore. We are the Booker, Booker T. Hornets. Hornets. Roll, Roll Tide. tide. Now that the teams have told you why they should win, it's time to begin our competition. As always, we start with the speed round. Remember teams, these are individual answer questions worth 10 points each. There is no conferring in this round. Are you ready to play? Do you have questions? Yeah. Good, because I want answers. Here's our first speed question. Russian officials said an operative from the Central Intelligence Agency tried to recruit a counterterrorism agent with expertise in the Caucasus an area that has recently become of intense interest to, to the United States. Why? Yes, Claremore. Oil? Incorrect, Booker T. Yes. The Boston bombing suspects were from the Caucasus? That is correct. The statistical study of human populations, especially with reference to size and density. It, yes, Booker T. Demographics. That is correct. This word means a misplacement in time, as for example, yes, Claremore. Anachronism. That is correct. This object is an architectural figure which projects outward from the roof gutter of a th Yes, Booker T. Gargoyle. That is correct. A town force in Newton, Connecticut, I'm sorry, Newtown, Connecticut, has decided that the district should tear down what elementary school and, yes, Claremore. Sandy Hook. That is correct. Name two of the three temperate zones on Earth. Yes, Claremore. Tropical and Arctic? Incorrect. Booker T. You don't need to. It's okay. okay. Uh, the tropical and the temperate rainforest. That is correct. The third one is the frigid. Close. Frigid. Next B question. The word refers to a small writing desk with a vertically folding writing surface and side drawers. The sense of the word as a large sofa came later. What is the three-syllable term? Yes, Booker T. Ottoman. Incorrect. Claremore. Time, that would be Davenport. Davenport. Math question. Remember, you get extra time for these. If gasoline costs 62 and a half, se half cents a half gallon, what would two gallons cost? Yes, Booker T. 250 cents. Mm, yes, technically that is correct. $2.50, but that is the same thing. Okay, moving on with more speed. It is, a, it is famous for its habit of beating its wings until a loud drumming sound can be heard from as far away as a quarter of a mile. A favorite bird among autumn hunters, can you identify it? Yes, Booker T. Quail. Incorrect. Claremore, you get a chance. Turkey. Incorrect. It would be the grouse. The grouse. Workers placed on the One World Trade Center building a spire that brings the total height of the new edifice to how many feet tall? Yes, Booker T. 1,776. That is correct. 
In Greek mythology, who was the personification of the human soul? Yes, Booker T. Psyche? That is correct. I'm going to name a famous person who died young. I want you to identify their respective occupation. Franz Schubert. Yes, Booker T. Composer? That is correct. This is a good technique for beginning potters. It involves forming a pottery vessel but by making up a series of clay ropes spiraled on top of one another on a flat clay base. What is this technique called? Yes, Claremore. Stacking. Incorrect, Booker T. Layering. Incorrect, it is the coil method, coiling. Only two South American countries have no sea coast. Name either one. Yes, Claremore. Bolivia. That is correct. The other one is Paraguay. What important crop in Florida has been hit by an incur incurable bacterial disease? Yes, Claremore. Oranges. That is correct, or any citrus fruit, but oranges specifically. Good. I'm going to name another famous person who died young. Again, identify their occupation. James Dean. Yes, Booker T. Actor. That is correct. After more than two years of conflict, Syria is becoming increasingly, increasingly split geographically, with one effectively autonomous zone having been carved out of the country's northeast by people of what ethnic group? Which, yes, Booker. I'm Al sorry. White. Yes, Booker T. Al White. Incorrect. I'll, I'll finish the question with links to separatists in Iraq and Turkey. The Kurds? That is correct. This fuzzy finish on the fabric should line up when the garment is sewn together. What is it called? Yes, Claremore. The seam? Incorrect. Booker T. The fringe? Incorrect. It is the nape. The nape. Earthworms have no lungs or gills. They breathe via what? Yes, Booker T. Pores? Incorrect. Claremore? Their mouth. Incorrect. It is their skin. Their skin. Scientists recently announced that the concentration of what compound in the atmosphere is now higher than at any time over the... Yes, Booker T. Carbon dioxide. That is correct. Math question. Evaluate the integral from 0 to 2. <laughs> yes, Claremore. 0. Incorrect. I'll finish the question. Of the quantity x squared plus 3x minus 4 dx. Yes, Booker T. Negative 28 over 3. Incorrect. The correct answer is two-thirds. Back to more speed. We're looking for a 10-letter word starting with R. In order for the results of experiments to be accepted by the scientific community, the experiments must be... Yes, Booker T. Repeated. Incorrect. Claremore. Repeatable. Incorrect. Replicable or replicated. What is the atomic number of hydrogen? Yes, Claremore. One. That is correct. In the American colonial period, four wars involving the colonists bore the names of kings or queens. Name any two of the wars. Yes, Claremore. King Phillips and King James. Incorrect. Booker T. King Philip and King Henry. Incorrect. King Phillips or King George's. Uh, there's also King William's or Queen Anne's. In Chad, this benchmark demographic is 49. In Germany, it's 77. What is it? Yes, Claremore. Literacy rate? Incorrect. Oh, T. Yes, life right. expectancy? I'm sorry? Life expectancy? That is correct. Average life, expe average life expectancy. This is a math question. 90% of an unidentified element is an isotope that has a mass of 20.0. The remaining 10% of the same element is an isotope that has a mass 22.0. What is the average atomic mass of the element? Yes, Booker T. 
20.2, yes, correct. Another math question. Divide 23 and 7 eighths by 5 and 3 fourths. Please give your answer as a mixed number. Okay, time is up. That would be 4 and 7 46ths. Oh, and that bell means we are done with the first speed round. Uh, score stands right now with Claremore at 60 points and Booker T. Washington with 120 points. We now enter into the advantage rounds. Remember to gain the advantage teams, you must be the first to correctly answer a speed question. Any team member may answer those. Once a team correctly answers a speed question, they're given three advantage questions worth five points each. Remember, you are allowed to confer on these players, but answers for the advantage questions must come from your team captain. Once an advantage category is complete, it's back to speed questions to gain a new advantage. Are you ready? Here we go. Who painted the blinding of Samson, the Jewish bride, and the syndics of the cloth guild? Yes, Claremore. Carvaggio. Incorrect. Booker T. Masaccio. Incorrect. It is Rembrandt. Still looking for an advantage. What is the ethnic group, second only to the Jews, in numbers executed during the Holocaust? Yes, Booker T. Gypsies? That is correct. You have the advantage. Dumbass. Your category is The Scarlet Letter, the novel. Number one, who wrote the book? Hawthorne. 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 Correct. What was The Scarlet a. Letter? A. a. Correct. What did it stand for? Adulterous. Adulterous. Adultery. Correct. <laughs> okay, back to speed. Julian Castro, a rising Democratic political star, was re-elected for a third term as mayor. Yes, Booker T. Antonio. That is correct. You have the advantage again. This time your category is I'm called A, meaning if you're a citizen of the United States, you're called an American. Give the most appropriate word for citizens of these nations. Number one, Greece. Greek. Greek. Correct. Hungary. Hungarian. Hungarian. Correct. Iceland. Icelandic. Icelander. Correct. Back to speed. In what state was the Mormon Church founded in 18... Yes, Booker T. Massachusetts. Incorrect. In 1830. Yes, Claremore. Utah. Incorrect. It is New York. New York. Basic identifies it with the keyword rem and sometimes calls it a remark. Pascal surrounds it with braces or with a parenthesis as... Yes, Booker T. Comment. That is correct. You have the advantage. Your category is presidents. I'll give you the dates. You name the president. Number one, 1845 to 1849. Tyler. I don't know. Harris. Tyler. Incorrect. It is Polk. 1849 to 1850. That must be Tyler. Harrison. Taylor. Harrison. Incorrect. Taylor. It is Taylor. 1853 to 1857. Taylor. Fillmore. Fillmore. Incorrect. It is Pierce. Pierce. Back to speed. Still looking for advantage. Its name may derive from a West African word for enclosed place or from the Latin for to touch. And it is traditionally defined by Argentinians as a sad feeling that you can dance to. What is it? Yes, Booker T. Tango. I'm sorry? Tango. That is correct. You have the advantage again. Your category is to decide what nationality these following composers were from, or what they are. Number one, Delius and Elgar. Elgar Sweeney. Where are you from? Oh, no. Elgar, either. German. Incorrect. They are English. Hohannes and Copeland. American. American is correct. Castelnuovo, Tedesco, and Bellini. Spain? Oh, yes, Spain. Or Italy. Uh, Spanish. Incorrect. Italian. Italian. Five U.S. senators were elected president in the 20th century. Name any three of them. Oh, time is up on the advantage round. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the question. My bad. I'm sorry. 
The three, uh, the five were Harding, Truman, Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, or Nixon. My apologies. Back to speed. Munich, Germany is closest to which neighboring country? Yes, Booker T. Switzerland? Incorrect. Claremore. Austria? That is correct. You have the advantage. Identify these EU words. Number one, eucalyptus. What it's a, it's a leaf. A leaf of a tree. Leaf? Incorrect. It is a plant. Yucca. Uh, the pass. It would, it would be a card game. A euphemism. Uh, a word that you use uh, from another word that means something different. Beating, the, beating around the bush. Beating around the bush? I don't know. It's a term that you use to around something. To uh, get yes, the answer. You, but you sort of already answered yeah. it. It would be a figure of speech, substituting a, mi a mild term for a blunt one. Back to speed. The first settlement in Virginia was made at Jamestown in 1607. The first settlement in Delaware was made at Wilmington by people from what country? Yes, Claremore. Sweden. That is correct. You have the advantage again. Category is language. Number one, what French word describes the occupation of head waiter? Pass. That would be Nader D. Give me the French expression for blank check. Blanc check. check. Incorrect. Carte blanc. What letter does a cedilla, cedilla hang from? A. 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 Incorrect. It is C. Back to speed. Carib Indian relics and luxuriant beaches are characteristics of which U.S. national park? Yes, Claremore. The Virgin Islands. That is correct. Advantage to you. Category is American religion. Number one. In lieu of payment of a debt, this Quaker accepted a vast tract of wooded land. I'm sorry? William Penn. That is correct. A noted Senate chaplain was known to millions as a man called Peter. Pass. That would be Peter Marshall. He established the Walla Walla Washington Mission shortly after leading the first expedition containing women to cross the Rockies in 1836. Donner. <laughs> Marcus Whitman. <laughs> Back to speed. Oh, and that bell does mean we're at the end of the advantage round. Score stands at this time. Claremore with 65 points and Booker T. Washington with 155 points. Now we get to jump into the third round where the team's ability to think on their feet will be tested. In this whirlwind round, the team with the lowest points gets to pick from one of three categories. They can pick a category for themselves or they may pick a category for the opposing team. Should they pick the opposing team's category, their opponents will get to choose a category for them. Each team will have 60 seconds to answer as many of the 10 questions in the category as possible, correct, or correct answers being worth 10 points each. Member players, you may confer, but all answers must come from the team captain. You may pass on a question at any time by simply saying, pass. Claremore, you're trailing at this point. Your categories are math, on Broadway, or Pompeii. Are you choosing for yourself or for Booker T? Could we do Broadway? Could we do Broadway? On Pompeii. We'll Pom Pompeii. Pompeii. Okay. For you guys, yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Pompeii it is. Number one. More scientists have studied it than any other volcano. Name it. Mount, Mount Vesuvius. Correct. Who reported terrace farming on Mount Vesuvius' slopes? Was it Plutarch, Pliny, or Strabo? Pliny. Incorrect. Who wrote an eyewitness account of Pompeii's destruction? Pliny the Elder, Pliny the Younger, Edward bulwer Lighton or Strabo? Pliny the Elder? Incorrect. Edward bulwer Lighton first fictionalized the destruction of Pompeii in what novel? Pompeii. Incorrect. What leader of a slave revolt hid in Mount Vesuvius? Sorry? Spartacus. Correct. When were Pompeii and Herculaneum destroyed? 79 BC, 79 AD, 123 AD, or 1634 AD? 79 AD? Correct. Is Pompeii located at the mouth of the river Po, Tiber, Rubicon, or Sarnus? Sarnus. Correct. What form of art did Pompeii's discovery influence? Neoclassical, classical, impressionism, or primit primitivism? 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 That is incorrect. Neoclassical for that, but your time is up for your 60 seconds. Booker T, you get your chance to handle the whirlwind round. Would you like math, on Broadway, or the Olympics? Mm. 
Do we get extra time for this math, it's or is still it still 60 the same? seconds? Still 60 seconds. Okay. Yes. We can still do it though. I think math. We can do it. Math. We'll take math. Okay. Math it is. Number one. What is the reciprocal of 24? One over 24. One over 24. Correct. The circle which touches all the sides of a polygon is described as what? Inscribed. Inscribed. Correct. What is the reciprocal of 27.5 as a fraction? 2 over 27. 2 over 27. Incorrect. If 3 is the base, what is the logarithm of 81? 4. 4. Correct. A general mathematical statement accepted without proof is to prove that other less obvious statements is known as what? Theorem. Incorrect. The commutative property holds for what two fundamental arithmetic operations? Addition and multiplication. Addition and multiplication. Correct. The sum of three consecutive integers is 129. What are they? 42, 43, 44. 42, 43, 44. Correct. What term in mathematics describes each of the numbers multiplied together to obtain a given product? Uh, factors. Factors. Correct. Your time is up. Okay. Solid. Very good on the war around both teams. Score stands at this time. Claremore with 105 points and Booker T. Washington with 215 points. Okay. Back to a few speed questions to finish up the competition. Yes? Let's do it. It seems, quote, it seems that upon the first moment I was discovered sleeping on the ground after my landing, the emperor had early notice of it by an express. In which novel do we read this? Yes, Booker T. Gulliver's Travels. That is correct. Math question. A circle has a diameter whose endpoints are the ordered pairs 2, 6, and 6, 9. Calculate the area of the circle. Yes, Booker T. 6.25 pi square units. That would be correct. More speed. Nawaz Sharif declared victory after a historic election. A remarkable comeback for the man who has twice served as the country's premier. Yes, Booker T. Pakistan. That is correct. The large flightless dodo bird, which became extinct in the late 17th century, was found on which island? Yes, Booker T. Madagascar. Incorrect. Claremore. Sri Lanka. Incorrect. Mauritius. Mauritius. What is the atomic number of Krypton? Yes, Claremore. 87. Incorrect. Booker T. Hundred and twenty-two. Incorrect. Superman says thirty-six. Only five states sent delegates to this convention, called in seventeen Yes, uh, Booker T. Hartford Convention. Incorrect. No. Called in seventeen eighty six to discuss commerce. Identify this convention named for a Maryland city where it met. Annapolis Convention. That is correct. This battle was fought in 42 BC in Macedo Macedonia. As a result, both Cassius and Brutus committed suicide. Yes, Claremore. The Battle of Parthus. Sorry. Uh, incorrect. And Octavius and Mark Antony became masters of Rome. Identify the battle. Thermopylae. Incorrect. The Battle of Philippi. Philippi. On the New York subway's number one line, what's the stop between 34th Street and 50th Street? Yes, Booker T. Broadway. Incorrect. Claremore. Times Square. Incorrect. Broadway does say, though, 42nd Street. These German knightly poet musicians were modeled after the troubadours of France and generally sang about love. They were eventually replaced by the Meisterzingers. Name them. Yes, Claremore. Minstrels. Incorrect. Booker T. Bardazingers. Close. The Minazingers. Minazingers. What is the atomic number of carbon? Yes, Claremore. Six. That is correct. A cylindrical mass removed by drilling into the earth to determine the composition of the rock below is what kind of sample? Yes, Claremore. Geological sample. Incorrect. Booker T. Core. That is correct. 
Day had broken cold and gray when the man turned aside from the main Yukon Trail and climbed the high earth bank where a dim trail led eastward through the fat spruce timberland. Identify the story that opens with this sentence. Yes, Claremore. Call of the Wild. Incorrect. Booker T. That would be to build a fire. It was founded by anti-slavery activists in 18, 1854 and has produced 18 presidents, including Warren Harding and Calvin Coolidge. What is this party, which includes Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and Speaker of the House? Yes, Claremore. The Republican Party? That is correct. <laughs> Hedy Lamar turned down the role of Ilsa in Casablanca. She hadn't wanted to work with an unfinished script. Another actress took over and, with Humphrey Bogart, made film history. Name her. Nope, too late. That would be Ingrid Bergman. What's the atomic number of? Helium. Yes, Claremore. Two. That is correct. No offense, Alex Trebek. Going into Final Jeopardy, you are in the lead with $8,000. Your closest competitor, whom you don't want to tie, has $5,600. Assume that the wagers must be in whole dollar amounts, and you anticipate your challenger will get the question correct. What is the least you can wager in order to win this game? Yes, Claremore. $3,201. That is correct. What book by what author satirized the... Th oh, time is up. And that does end our competition. Claremore ends up with 155 points. Booker T. Washington with 255 points. Wonderful game. Thanks. Awesome. Great job, you guys. Congratulations, though, to Booker T. Washington. You will be moving on to play for the I Want Answers Championship. Next week, we will see which team will fill the second slot. Come back and see who has the answers as the Riverfield Ravens will compete against the Morris Eagles as they complete the second of the semifinal competition. As always, if you miss, missed last week's competition, you can view, view it by visiting our website, rsupublictv.org, and look for I Want Answers. But be a big fan. Look us up on Facebook and like us by searching for I Want Answers. Well, that's all for tonight. I'm your host, Jeff Gaffin. If you knew some of the answers, thank a teacher. But if you know freedom, thank a soldier. So long, everyone.